My name's Grant Cardone. This is the Cardone Zone every day, every day, every day. Every I'm gonna show you how to get money a lot cheaper than this. Hey, get yourself in a position to sit in that chair right there. Are you the solution or are you the problem? Yeah, well, we're talking about what does it take? They don't know you and they're not thinking about you. They, they do know you. you and they're not thinking about they you. They forgot you. Yeah. My name's Grant Cardone. You are in the Cardone Zone where I wake you up, I shake you up, I punch you in the face, but mostly, I'm that good uncle. What's happening, Great Cardone? Yeah, okay, what's happening, man? You got a deal or you got a question? Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Thursday, noon, East Coast Standard Time, which means on the Cardone Zone, it's time for Young Hustlers, where every week you can come here and you can count on getting information, tips, and strategies to help you get further along way faster. And believe me, information is the thing that will do it. One of the biggest questions that we get is, how can I be more successful? And so a lot of people have these ideas that success, there's a lot of mystery behind success. So today's show is going to be about how to demystify success. We're running with a theme of mystery right now. We have an amazing offer right now for our 10X Growth Conference. If you go to 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash deal, you can get a $4,500 executive level ticket for only $297. And that includes our 10X mystery bag. You're gonna be seeing these all over the place. Each of these bags has different prizes and, and, uh, and, and swag, and some of them have some pretty unreal prizes inside. Uh, some of them are gonna have one, two, we're gonna, we have five people that are gonna get access to our 10X networking party, five people that are getting upgraded to VIP. We're getting a premier upgrade, coaching session with Grant, access to Cardone University for 12 months, absolutely free some crazy giveaways each one of these bags is different so it's very exciting it's gonna be like a, a Christmas Day when your 10x mystery bag shows up but I'll tell you mystery is not a good thing mystery is not a good thing when you're talking about success when you're talking about paying your bills when you're talking about achieving your goals and dreams I want to hear your questions about success and the questions that you have that are creating mystery for you. So call the number 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. I have three things that I'm gonna talk about today that help you demystify success. Now for me, it was, uh, uh, I wanted to be successful. And I think a lot of you do as well. You've already made the decision that you want to be successful. But then what happens is you wake up and you wanna be successful. And all day, you're thinking about how can I be more successful? How can I be more successful? How can I be more successful? And then you go to sleep. And then you wake up the next day and you're like, I want to be successful. And you do the same thing. It's like Groundhog Day over and over and over again. You wake up, you want to be successful, but nothing happens. And then you wake up and you live that same day over and over again. And the next thing you know, three or four years have gone by and you turn around and you look like, well, wait a second, I've been thinking like I want to be successful. Like, how come I'm not where I want to be? And it creates some uncertainty. How do I do it? Is it even possible? Is success even that important? Like, why do people want to be successful anyways? And then the narrative starts shifting, and then all of a sudden you become, well, I just need to get by. Success really isn't that important. I've got my family. That, you know, love is, love is all the wealth you really need. Come on. You've given up. You've given up before you even got started. And so I want to go over just a couple things that will help you get on track. Now, these are very simple things to do, very simple, but you actually have to do them. And so that's, I think, where the, the, the challenge lies for people is they decide that they want to do something, but then they don't do anything. And so too many times, I think, people get derailed before they even get started. Now, for me, personally, I'm a little scatterbrained. Like, I'm a little all over the place. Uh, there's, there's a constantly a lot of chaos in my, in my environment. Uh, and it causes me to drop the ball on things. 
So I know what I have to do in order to counteract that. The benefit of that is I'm capable of getting a lot done because I'm a, I have the ability to assign my energy and my attention units into a lot of different places. But it won't happen if I'm not organized. So the number one thing you need to do to demystify success is you've got to have a plan. Like you have got to have a plan that continues moving you forward. If you're in a job right now and you're making 25 grand a year and you want to be more successful, you need to take steps today to get out of your $25,000 a year job. Or you need to figure out how to make more money. But you can't stay still and do the same thing every single day and think that you're going to be more successful because it's not going to happen. So, so what is that next thing? Is that driving an Uber on the weekends? Yeah, see, most of you aren't willing to do that because success isn't that important to you, right? Is it, is it, is it picking up a second job? Nah, I don't know. I kind of like my weekends, see, because success isn't that important to you. So what, ha what happens is, is people, people like, they want to they be more successful, but then they're not willing to do the things required to actually get them there. So the number one thing you've got to do is you've got to have a plan. This is what worked for me. I needed to have a plan because I got hung up in the groundhog day, waking up going, man, I want to be successful. It's going to happen to me soon. Like I was waiting for a, a lottery ticket or somebody to show up at my door. You know, for, for me, I had to like identify, okay, what is the next step? Well, the next step for me, when I actually w like made the decision, I was like, I've got to move. I've got like, something has to change. I've got to change my job. Uh, I've got to change my location. I've got to change the people around me. Like I have to change so that I can change. And so for me, that meant uh, quitting a job that I had. I was working for one of my best friends. Uh, so I had to quit the job working for him. I had to move to LA to get a job where I didn't, uh, I'd never done any, anything like this before. I was making cold calls for Grant uh, and, and living in a city that I knew literally two people that I never saw. So, so I had to like make all these changes, but I was committed to moving forward and being more successful. So once, once the, the first step is you got to identify a vehicle. You got to identify a vehicle that will move you forward. Okay, so like, like you've got to decide, okay, if I'm making 25 grand now, how do I get to 30? How do I get to 40? Like, how do I get to the next step? And then once you get there, how do you increase your, either your earning potential? How do you increase your value? How do you get more done? How do you add a second flow? Like, like there has to be a plan. So number one, you've got to have a target. Like, what is the target for you? You can't want to be more successful and not have a target. And you can't be making 25 grand a year and say, I'm going to be a billionaire and then not do anything and stay in the same place that you're in. Look, guys, your life has to be improving. If you want to be better, you have to start doing better. Otherwise, some part of your equation is off. So we're talking about how to demystify success. Three simple things that you can do to get closer to where you want to be faster. Uh, number one is you got to have a plan. You got to have a plan. What is the target? Number two. Who's got my money? Number three, number, number one, how to, you got to have a plan. What's the target? Who's got my money? How can I get to them? And why would they say no? That is really, you got to start answering some of these questions if you want to get further along to your path faster. We'll be right back. Spend 10X Growth Con, Con Mystery Bag. bag. For over $200,000 being given away. Stickers, wristbands, 10X hats, 10X planners, millionaire booklet, VIP upgrade, premier seat, full Cardone University access for 12 months. And coaching session with Sherry Hamilton, Jared Glantz, and Grant Cardone. 10X Growth Con Mystery Bag. What will you find in your book? Get yours today. 10X Growth Con Mystery Bag. 10X Growth Con Mystery Bag. Get yours today. Something changed. Oh,
What else does he buy? Wealth Dynamics believes everyone has the God-given right to own their potential. Most of us don't because we spend 40 hours per week serving the 40-year-to-life sentence, trading our precious time for worthless paper called money. We live on an economic planet and time and money do need to be exchanged, but it doesn't need to be your time or your money. We teach our clients to secure income producing assets that make the time and money exchange for you so you can buy your freedom back and live a life of abundance and prosperity. To get there, we must know how to make money, how to keep it, and how to multiply it. Wealth Dynamics provides coaching, education, accountability, and community to help you build wealth. Join our coaching program, get educated on Wealth Dynamics University, and begin networking with the Wealth Dynamics Mastermind Group today. To get started, go to WealthDynamics.com. Introducing the fastest growing e-commerce platform in fitness, gymfoodstore.com. Brought to you by Harvard-trained MD entrepreneur and specialist in rehabilitation and regenerative medicine, David Carley, along with Zoe Bedford, experience in distribution and product development. Gym Food Store is your online marketplace for nutrition and sport supplementation. We give you access to the most effective products and nutrition, all while providing expert reviews and user education. Gym Food Store is here to help you identify and validate product selection so that you are not wasting money or time on products that are simply subpar. Learn more at gymfoodstore.com. That's gymfoodstore.com right now. All right, we're back, Young Hustlers, every Thursday, same place, same time. We come here, we try to deliver some value, try to help you get where you wanna go faster. We talk about sales, we talk about business. Today we're talking about success. We're talking about how to demystify success. The first thing you have to do to create some uh, 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 certainty, right? So in the absence of mystery, there is certainty, right? When you take mystery out, that means you're certain. It means you know what's gonna happen. It means there's some predictability. And unless you are able to identify a plan, you will forever be uncertain. You have to know where you want to go. And too many times people talk about wanting to be successful and they're not super clear on where they actually want to go. If you don't know exactly where you want to go, I'm talking about specifically. I'm talking about like where you want to go, where you want to be, what you want to retire with, where you want to live, how many houses you want to have, where you want your kids to go to school, like how much that money that's going to take, how many vacations you want to take, how much do you want to spend on those vacations, like. Dude, imagine, this is an exciting exercise and so many people bypass it. Dude, figure out the thing that you actually want to get out of life. <laughs> I think it's kind of important, right? Like, you only get to do this once. You might as well spend some time figuring out how you want to live your life. Do you want to give back? You know, do you want to, you know, find a freaking charity that you love, that, that you want to commit to? Like, so, so few people actually take the time to find the things that, that are really important to them. So number one, you have to have a plan. This means, like, what do you actually want? Uh, and then, and then you gotta identify like who's got who's got your money, right? Like, if I want to, uh, I list out my entire goal set, and I'm like, well, in order to do that, I need to make five million dollars a year. Well, in my current job, the next question that I'm gonna say is, okay, where can I get that five five million bucks a year from? Who's got my money, right? So now I'm looking, who's got my money? What kind of deal do I need to take down? What kind of deals do I need to bring in to get me to that level? And so then I have to do the next thing is, how do I actually, now that I've identified the deals, how do I get in front of them? How do I get in front of this deal over here, that deal over here? How do I make this $50 million deal happen, this $100 million deal happen? How do I make all these things happen? What problems are they gonna have? Like, why would I get stopped? You know, like if you have a prospect that you're calling on, you ought to know before you pick up the phone and call them why they're gonna say no. If you don't, you're gonna get creamed. Right? Like rejection is hard enough. There's no, there's no reason to feel rejection simply because you were unprepared. Like y- y- you got to know when you pick up that, that phone, like what are the problems going to be? Because if you know what problems are going to be, be presented to you, then you can prepare for them, right? It's like we're, we're down here in Florida. There's hurricanes. Every, every year there's hurricanes, right? Some hit us, some don't. But I know for sure when they say that the hurricane is coming, What do we do? We prepare for it. Emails like two weeks, they say, hey, a storm, two, we have office emails. Two weeks, a a storm starts brewing in the uh, South Atlantic, right? Way out in the middle of nowhere, Bermuda, farther, by off the coast of Africa. Mala, mala, way, way. So so they say two weeks ahead of time, this storm is coming, right? It's moving in. We start preparing. 
What's the, what's the communication thing? So if we lose power, when we lose power, we know how to communicate with everybody. What type of supplies do you need? You gotta go to the store to get them because if you wait, the supplies are gone, right? So there's all of these things that start happening as the storm gets closer and closer, but it all starts because we can predict it. Now when an earthquake happens, you can't predict it. It just starts shaking and everything gets destroyed and falls apart and makes a big mess, right? So you can have hurricane success or you can have earthquake success, right? Like, you can have the success that you prepare for, you plan for, you see it coming, you know what to do, or you can have the thing that just surprises you and shakes the living daylights out of you, right? So, so predictability is one of the most valuable tools that you can have in sales. Once you identify all those things, who's the target, who's got my, what's the target, who's got my money, how do I get to them, why would they say no, and then how would I handle that? How can I repeat this with multiple people over and over and over again? And then the last question is, how can I scale all of these activities out so that I go from one client in a deal worth 10 grand to 100 clients that are all worth 10 grand, to 1,000 clients that are all worth 10 grand, to 2,000 clients, right? So how do you start scaling that out? So that's number one is you got to have a plan. Too few people operate without a plan. That's why I think that, too, that people are unhappy. That's why I think that so many people are broke. That's why I think that so many people waste time in their life. And then at 40, they look up and go, oh, man, dude, I've been, I've been screwing up. Like, I've been messing up. Well, I haven't planned for any of this. And now I'm, am, I, am I getting started too late? And then you have a whole new set of excuses and objections that come around. So number one, you got to have a plan. Number two, you got to be willing to do the work. I told you these were simple. These are really simple. Number one, have a plan that you create, not that your parents create for you, not that the fr your friends create for you. Like, what is your plan? That doesn't always start with a job. I just want to tell you that. Like, your plan should not start with a job. Your plan should be with the result. Like, like it's not what do I want to do when I wake up every day? That comes later. What comes now is, dude, where do you want to be? Where do you want to go? Fast forward 20 years, where do you want to be then? Because you can't get where you want to go if you don't know where you're going. And you're not going to be able to wake up and get closer to where you want to go every day if, if, if you're just operating with a blindfold on. So number one, you got to have a plan. Number two, you got to be willing to do the work. This is the hard part. This is where things start getting difficult. The plan's actually pretty easy, right? Next thing is the work. It's the showing up every day. It's the showing up in the morning. It's the staying late. It's the work on the weekends. It's, you know, I made a commitment because I saw how Grant worked. Grant probably has better work ethic than anybody I know. Like, his work ethic is just, and I had the opportunity when we were getting started to work really close with him. When he was freaking out there grinding, like he is today, just in a different way, right? Like, we're getting up, it was always the first flight out. Like, when we traveled, it was always the first flight out. Uh, when, we were, when we were on the plane, it was reading a book, uh, something, it's a finance thing in the newspaper, like get, collecting data, right? And then when we got up in the air, it was online working on projects and presentations or, or whatever, answering emails. It was constant, posting on social. Like everything was just, it was how do I get as much done in as short a time possible, right? Like, like we'd come home, we'd land at, at, uh, at 10 o'clock at night or 11 o'clock at night or 12 o'clock at night, and I'd still show up at work the next morning. Because I had been around Grant long enough to know that's what he would do. What would Grant do? Dude, Grant would show up. He'd show up with his eyes bleeding. And so for a lot of you, those, those, like, those decisions are hard to make. You've got to use every opportunity you have to sell, to close, to brand, to prospect, to educate, to recruit. Like Until you start making it in a big way, dude, you need to become obsessed with this. You need to be obsessed with this. How do I get the most out of what, what I have in front of me? I got to see that firsthand working with Grant, so that's how I operate. Like that, I, I try to get the most out of every day. I wake up early. I'm constantly on, like, like the, because I got to see it. So you've got to do the work. And then finally, number three, and just let me tell you something about the work. When you start feeling compression, because you start taking on a lot of things, and you start feeling compression, some people call it stress. I call it compression. When you start feeling that compression, dude, that is when you are in growth I'm growth mode. I'm working with a trainer right now, and when, when he's got me going, and it's burning, and I'm like, I, I'm like shaking, and I'm pushing, I got nothing left, he's like, dude, that's when you're working. Like, that is when the most change is taking place. When you feel like giving up, and that urge to stop, 
is the, is the hardest, that is when you are doing the most work. So when we come back from the break, we're going to continue digging in about demystifying success right here. This is Young Hustler. X Growth Con Mystery Bag. For over $200,000 being given away. Stickers, wristbands, 10X hats, 10X planners, millionaire booklet, VIP upgrade, premier seat, full Cardone University access for 12 months. And coaching session with Sherry Hamilton, Jared Glantz, and Grant Cardone. 10X Growth Con Mystery Bag. What will you find in your bag? Get yours today. 10X Growth Con Mystery Bag. Growth Con Mystery Bag. Get yours today. Automatons, or artificial beings capable of independent thought, have been a fixture of science fiction, literature, and motion pictures throughout time. Today, the convergence of technology and imagination has reached new heights, which are reflected in the advancements that we see in every area of our lives. Over the last couple of years, AI machines have made their way into our homes, the battlefield, our workplace, and even into our hands in the form of smartphones with voice recognition. Digital assistants for the home represent an opportunity if you know how to take advantage of them. That is where Nico's Computer Engineering comes in. Tim Clark brings you the latest news about the most up-to-date strategies to position yourself in the digital landscape. Finding a path to productive business applications and how to automate them with artificial intelligence are just a few of the topics we cover in our weekly segments. Because computer engineering is here to find a unique solution. Growing your future, protecting your past, J.D. Frost & Company, PLLC, is a public accounting firm, offers a variety of assurance and tax services to businesses and individuals in the Chattanooga and surrounding areas. We focus on construction and manufacturing industries. Our primary objective is client satisfaction through excellent customer service. Work with the best. We are accredited by the BBB. This is JD Frost and Company for a full suite of tax assurance and management accounting services. Visit us right now at frostcpas.com. The more comfortable you get with yourself, the less scary it is for people to actually see you. We all know as parents that there's nothing more powerful than a mother's love. And how can I be that extraordinary parent for my kids? And how kind we are to each other. The more that you love you, the less you care if others love you. The idea is to really just choose to be with yourself. The challenges and the struggles and the frustrations and the self-doubt and insecurities can often keep us from living. We can master our lives from the inside out. Chasing low quality leads and leaving voicemails for prospects is no way to grow a business. We both know that. What would 50, 100, or even 200 new customers contacting you directly every month mean for your bottom line? If you're a contractor, then we can help you fill your pipeline and start today. At Chrome Leads, we help you fill your schedule with solid appointments, get more leads, write more estimates, and close more deals. Need funding to scale your business? We've got you covered. Chrome Leads is here to help you to build your business brick by brick. Call us today at 403-710-6271. That's 403-710-6271. Or visit us at chromeleads.com today. All right, we're back, young hustlers. We're talking about demystifying success. If you have questions, I'd love to hear them. 305-865-8668. We're talking about what you need to do to create less mystery with your success. Number one is you've got to have a plan. I'm sorry. Number one, you've got to have a plan. Number two, you have to do the work. And then number three, you have to stay focused. You cannot be distracted. And this happens to a lot of people because I think they set the wrong expectations. Like you can definitely be unreasonable with things. But like, if your target is to be a billionaire, that isn't going to happen overnight unless you like win a lottery ticket or something. Like, 
you know, you, you need to understand like, like how this whole thing plays out. You can't get to a billion before you get to 100 million. You can't get to 100 million before you go through uh, 50 million, and then 10 million, and then a million, and then 500,000, and then 100,000. Like, like there are increments and levels to the game, and you need to keep the, the big picture in mind, but like you got to be moving closer to these little uh, these incremental targets along the way. So like, like nothing happens overnight. Like literally nothing happens overnight. People say, oh, wow, Grant, it happened so fast for you. He's been doing this for 30 years. 30 years he's been refining his pitch, creating his content, evolving his delivery, uh, identifying his audience, getting connected with people, working his pitch out. Like for 30 years this has been happening. You know, social media platforms come out. He starts getting into that. Seven years later, uh, it, it all blows up. Like, like nothing happens overnight. So don't get so frustrated that you want to quit. You're going to feel the frustration, but the frustration shouldn't be the indicator to quit. The frustration should be the indicator that you're actually moving into like your limitation. And that's the thing that continuing to show up will wear down. They say that water beats the rock, right? The thing that keeps showing up over and over and over again will eventually win. So you got to continue like thinking with like, man, I just got to stay focused. I got to stay. Steve Spray is awesome at this. Like he struggled so bad in the beginning. He really didn't have a lot of the tools and resources that we do today. And uh, he was struggling, but he kept showing up every single day for a year. For a year, he was like banging his head up against the wall. And then one day, like it was like, on a year and a day, boom, the wall fell down. It, it, I remember how, how fast it happened. Um, but, but, but it's a muscle that you have to build. Like you can't just show up once or twice or for a week or for a month and think that your whole deal is going to change. You know, anytime you're doing anything new, anytime that you're doing anything new, I would tell you that it will take you at least a year to really start understanding it. Like before you like are comfortable with it and you understand it to the degree that like not just at like a superficial level but to where you really understand the mechanics behind a lot of it will take you at least a year. You go work in a new job after two or three months you quit. I'm just telling you, you know nothing about the job. Like you know nothing about the industry, you know nothing about the job, you know nothing about what it takes to be successful, you know nothing about why the people that came before you have won or failed because you haven't been there long enough. Like when people are here for a year, they look back and they go, wow, dude, I feel like I've been here for five years. I've learned so much because they get enough time in the seat. So just don't be dumb about this. Like, like don't be dumb about success in, 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 in the time you think that it takes. Like it, it, it's to get to where I'm at, it's been eight years of like all out, all in, all day, all the time, right? And, and for others, it happens faster. I wish I were that fortunate, right? But, but that's, this is my path. You have yours. They have theirs, right? Like, and that's why you can't look at other people. Like, you just got to stay focused on your own deal and just run your game, right? If people are winning, like, maybe they're doing something differently. Maybe that's the thing you take from them. That's why, like, people follow Grant. That's why people get connected with Grant. That's why people like to connect with me. They feel like, hey, Grant's really made it. Jared's kind of baby making it. And, and it's, it's, I'm closer to them than, than they are to Grant. And so they identify with me because they're like, hey, well, that's, I got to get through Jared's level before I go to Grant's level, right? I got to get through here before I can go to here. And so like, like you just got to stay focused. And you got to keep doing that next, like what is the next right thing to do? Because if you don't have a plan or any targets attached to it. You don't do the work. Like, number one, if you don't have a plan, you're never going to succeed. You're not going to win. You're going to wander aimlessly. You might get lucky, but I don't, I'm not talking about like leaving your success up to luck. I'm talking about making sure it happens for you. Number one, you've got to have a plan. Number two, you've got to do the work. If you don't do the work, I promise you, you will not be successful. You can have a great plan uh, that you execute poorly and you will not win. You can have a mediocre plan that you execute well, and you got a great shot at winning big. Like There are a lot of average and mediocre products and companies and services that do unbelievably well because people actually execute. 
You don't have to have the best idea. You don't have to be the most talented. You don't have to be the best prepared. But you have to have a plan that you execute on. So number one, you've got to have a plan. Number two, you've got to do the work. And number three, you've got to stay focused. So many distractions. Friends, girls, guys, uh, social media, video games, recreation, uh, gym, uh, whatever. Like there's so many distractions out there. And you just got to stay focused. You got to be surrounded by people that like are supportive of you. Like this is hard enough, right? It's hard enough to do, to, to, to do it in the first place. Having people around you that are constantly naysaying, they're constantly taking shots, they're being negative. Like that's why I don't watch the news because every time you turn on, something negative is happening. I, this is another thing I learned from Granny. He's like, dude, don't watch the news. I promise you, you'll have a better attitude. The less TV I watch, the more productive I am. Like I, there was some huge stuff going on with elections. I literally had no idea. I mean, sorry, you know, rock the vote. I know I missed out, but like, dude, I would have had to put up with all kinds of bullshit for the last four months. I've been getting like, literally, I probably got 150 text mess messages over the last uh, two or three months. Probably highly illegal, but. Uh, let's go to some callers. Let's talk to some. Let's talk some success with our callers. Yeah, Teresa, in Ohio. Teresa from Ohio. What's happening? Welcome to Young Hustlers. Hey, Jared. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for calling. Yeah, um, definitely. I um, just wanted to kind of comment. Um, first of all, I met you um, at the July boot camp. Fantastic program. Absolutely awesome. worth it. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of tell you that how right you are about having a plan for your life, um, not only your business, but your life in general, kind of like, you know, how Elena and Grant talk about on Wednesdays with the g and &E show, which is an awesome program, too. I really get a lot out of that. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> um, yeah, just wanted to tell you um, that, you know, society with your, your talk about having a plan, society is going to tell you to take the easy way the easy route, just, you know, like the 40 hour jail sentence, 40 year jail sentence of a 40 hour week. Yeah. Um, and uh, really ultimate freedom that I, I have found with grants programs is having the plan so that that 40 year sentence doesn't control you. You just invest in yourself. And that's what I'm investing in myself as part of the ambassador program. Awesome. Um, yeah, definitely love it. And um, also just, you know, you're checking, you know, saying like you got to put the work in. And really having checks on yourself daily is what I do because you measure against yourself against your own goals, kind of a checks and balances system. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to wait a month, two months, three months into something that you're planning and really you're not even doing the work that you realize that you need to do to achieve those goals. Yeah, and, and you know, we talk about uh, like burn the house down levels of activity. And one of the cool things about it, some people are a little bit more like, paced and very steady. Grant is on like the complete opposite end of that. And then I'm probably somewhere in the middle of paced and completely out of control. Um, but you know what the great thing about operating at high levels of activity is, is if you're going the wrong way, you find out faster. So if you're going in the wrong direction and you're going 100 miles an hour, you're going to find out quicker than somebody going 30. And so if you can kind of build that into your deal, uh, it, it helps so much, and and you know even even like if you have these little exercises, because a lot of people that like they don't truly know how much they can do until they do it, right? Like again, back to the trainer. Like when I work out by myself, I push myself to X. When I work out with him, I'm like we reach X in the first like 12 minutes, and then we spend another 40 minutes, uh, you know, completely annihilating myself, like. So, so you, you realize how much more you can get done. And, and so what, what you really need to do is you need to take a day and you need to block that day down into how much you can get done. And sometimes that means going down to uh, 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 from a month at a time to a day at a time to an hour at a time down to what we even suggest is 15 minute chunks to where you can say in this 15 minutes, I want to see how much of X I can get done. You know, I want to uh, see if I can get, Duran, if I can get three emails done uh, that Duran sends me to approve. I wonder if I can get three emails checked, rewritten, and then resubmitted uh, in the next 15 minutes, right? So, so play games with yourself 
And then what you got to do is you got to figure out how you can take that 15 minutes and then have that 15 minutes become 30. And then have that 30 become an hour. So really what you want to do is you're looking at a day that you can get all this stuff done in or a month or a year or 10 years, right? And then you're breaking it all the way down to the smallest increment that you can control and then you build up from there. That made so much sense in my head. I hope it came out right. Thank exactly. you. So, yeah, yeah th thanks, thanks for the call, Teresa. I appreciate you, and thanks for uh, being a part of the ambassador group. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Derek the Land, how you doing, man? What's going on, bro? Hey, uh, I just want to start off by thanking you so much, you and Grant, everything that you do. Uh, without getting too much into it, you, you certainly have changed my life for the better. Awesome, man. I really, truly appreciate that. Thank you for that. Hey, yeah. Uh, so I got a specific question about my business. I was hoping uh, to get your take on it. Yeah, let's go. All right. So we're a Google partner um, and a G Suite reseller, meaning we sell uh, Gmail for business, the licenses. Uh huh. Um, we're located in Victoria, British Columbia. It's Vancouver Island. And uh, so it's got like an island feel. We have a staff of about uh, between 25 and 30. Um, majority of our the, the majority of our staff um, being customer service and technical support, mm -hmm. and uh, we're trying to sort of grow out our sales team. And um, with with the people in our area, it's like you know the laid back feel. It works pretty well for the customer service and tech support, but for the sales, we're having a hard time, you know, finding the the killer instinct. Yeah, well, well. You know, people can develop the killer instinct when the appropriate stakes are presented to them, right? Like, you know, I'm not uh, an aggressive person, but if you start messing with my wife or my kid, then aggressive comes out, right? So, so what I would say to you is make sure that you are, you're properly incentivizing people. So let, let's just say in your mind, what do you think a good salesperson could make working for you? Um, it's, it's reoccurring income, so every year it should grow. But in the first year at this position, um, probably between 60 and 80K. Okay, what about year two? Um, over uh, between 100 and 120. So let's say you ran an ad for $120,000 a year uh, and you only work four days a week. You think you'd get some responses on that? Yeah, I'm sure we would. What if you said $120,000 a year, you name your schedule? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure we get some. And, and, and we do get resumes and we do get applications um, and we do interview people. It, but it seems to be the common theme of they, they show up and they're just not really what we're looking for. And pretty much the way that we've submerged ourselves into the, the GC uh, mindset, 10X mindset, um, the standards are high, and the, the yeah. people that are showing up are just not making the cut. Dude, uh, all, all, all I'm saying is change the way that change the bait that you're using to fish with. You know, like like if people are interested in the island lifestyle and they want to work as little as possible, then maybe you put a pay plan in place where you say, hey, look, if you hit this target, once you hit this target for the month, you can take the rest of the month off. If you can hit yeah. this target in a week, then you can take three weeks of the month off. Doesn't that go a little bit against the 10x mindset? Well, I'm just saying that, like, yeah, but if you're if you're you're telling me that the problem that you're having is all the people in your area are uh, they don't want to work and they're not motivated properly. That's because you're trying to motivate them with the wrong thing. You're trying to say, hey, you can work 12-hour uh, days and make 180 grand a year. They're like, screw that, dude. I don't want to work 12 hours a day. I don't want to work six hours a day. So it's, it's, about, it's about, you'll get 10x out of that person, I guarantee you. You'll get 10x out of that person for a period of time if they're properly motivated. Let's just say it's, let's just say it's hey, if you could hit your target for the month in the first week, I'll give you the rest of the month off. I guarantee you for seven days, you're going to get 10x out of that person. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on, so there's two, that's definitely good advice and I'm, I'm going to look into implementing that. 
what do you think about the other two options, I guess, would be either we, we set up shop like a, a second office in one of the major hubs um, or hiring remotely? Yeah, those are, those are both really, really good solutions. A lot of companies today are going remote. It's a little more challenging to keep control and to make sure that like the 10x company values uh, stay in place, but, but it's a great solution. I mean, like that's one of the things that we struggle with. So, so our team is based in Miami. So for our sales department, uh, like we, we, we don't have to worry about running ads for salespeople. We just, we get like, we're, we're constantly uh, getting flow of resumes coming in for people that want to work with us. But a guy that has been, that makes 180 grand a year and he lives in uh, San Angelo, Texas, and he's got a wife and two kids and they're both in school. Uh, he's not going to move to Miami, move his family, move his kids, go from a $250,000 house that's 3,000 square feet to spending five grand a month for a 1,500 square foot apartment. Uh, you, you, like to get them to make that shift, even though he's talented, is is really challenging. So one of the things we struggle with is because we have an in, we have a team in Miami. It's expensive to live in Miami. Uh, it's it's a challenging market to, to operate in because there's really wealthy people and then there's people that, that don't have money. So you're like constantly trying to figure out like, how do I get, get my people that operate in the middle? How do I get them up out of it? It's just a challenge, but every market's gonna have that, dude. Every market's gonna have their, their excuse or their reason. Uh, we have partners in Vancouver and they have an office in Vancouver and they have a couple remote people that work in Toronto. So, um, the, the, the point is, is you've got to keep, keep trying something, right? Like you can't just say, man, people just don't want to work here and not continue to try new things. So continue to get creative, creative, creativity follows commitment. So the more committed you are to figuring out a solution to the problem, the more creative you'll start thinking and something will come to you. Absolutely, man. Well, I appreciate you taking the call. I appreciate yep. your advice and I'm definitely going to just implement it as best I can. You got it, bro. Appreciate you. Who we got next? Alan from LA, what's going on? Hey, what's up, Jared? What's happening, um, man? Hey, uh, I'm calling in today. Just wanted to reach out because I had a question about how to increase my income. 25, I'm in sales. I actually started following your stuff about last year. I was making 45. This year, I'm going to do a little bit over 100. Awesome. But, um, you know, yeah, I feel like um, I want to set a new goal, though, to get to 200, but I feel kind of tapped out where I am. Um, and also, I don't really know how to position myself mentally too because I don't really know uh, anyone around my age right now that's making you know like 200 300 even though it's not a lot of money but um, you know I just don't really know where to start yeah so uh, is it do you have the the ability to make 200 grand in the job that you're in right now maybe like 150 in like five years and I get I give it like seven eight years if I get promoted to like a senior kind of management position that that's probably possible. So you're but not. I want to get there faster. Yeah. So basically, you're you're not in a position where where you could go double your income. No. Yeah. So like, when when you get when you start making the decision like you have like the jump from forty five k to to a hundred k in a year, uh, dude, that's freaking awesome. Like that is so that is so super. Don't. A hundred grand, although in the big scheme of things, it's not a lot of money. Dude, going from 45K to 100K is a life changer for a lot of people. So don't, don't undersell yourself on that because that's a great job. The next thing you need to do is you need to start looking for the right vehicle. So at 25 years old, you got a job, right? And then now you've, you've kind of maximized that job. Now you actually have the ability because you've built up some skill. You've got a little bit of game. Now you need to look for the next vehicle, right? So the job that you're in was the vehicle that got you from wherever you started to a hundred grand. Now, if you want to make more money and your current job will not get you there and cannot get you there, the next step is the next vehicle. So the next thing you need to do is find something that's probably connected in some way, shape or form to what you did to go to 45 to hundred. Like that industry or that space, you've got experience in it, right? So the next thing that I would do is I'd stay close to that industry space or company and find a vehicle that would allow you to get to 200, 250. 
So you you need right. to identify the companies in that space that will allow you to get there. Like, uh, what type of role are you in? Like, like what are you selling? Well, yeah, I mean, I was actually just in the business to business sales. I was selling like copier machines, um, and I've been looking right now, but I don't think like <laughs> copier business is like gonna really get me there as like a rep unless I'm kind of in like the really like you know like top management position. Yeah. So so this is what I talk about a plan, folks. Like. Like what Alan's saying right here is, is his plan is to do something really big, right? And he's worked his way all the way back. And so he's gone from 45K to 100K. Now he needs to find a new vehicle, but he's saying, hey, look, like this industry as a whole does not have people that are knocking down big money. You know, some people in the hospitality business will go through this. They're like, man, I want to be super successful. And they work in a restaurant as a waitress and they want to do better, but, but like, there's no waitresses that are making 250 grand a year. You know, like you, you gotta understand like at some point the space that you're in may change and that's when you have to use what, what got you where you're at to get to the next place. So B2B sales skills is, I mean, that's the game, right? Prospecting for new business, chasing bigger deals down uh, and, and dealing with, you know, higher powered people that, 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 that you know, the deals have some meat on the bone, right? Like that's how you're gonna make money. You know, you get, get into something like uh, uh, Daniel, who was just on the phone from Victoria, uh, Victoria, British Columbia. Sounds nice up there, I've never been. But, uh, but he's like, hey man, you can make residual income, which means you can stack, and you're selling uh, Google services or something to businesses. Like if, if, a, if a business has residual income, Dude, that's a business that you can that you can make a lot out of because the thing that the only thing that you're limited to is how much work you can do. You know, like most companies that offer a residual, they do that because you're keeping a client on the on their deal. And so if you can keep stacking, that's how our business works. You know, our guys get paid a residual. The they get a they get a little piece up front for closing the deal and then they get paid a residual for making sure that the deal stays on. So there's no limit. Like there literally is no limit to how much money they can make. The only limit that they have are the size deals that they go after and how fast they're able to get a deal done. Okay. So next step for you, dude, find a sales, a B2B sales position where people are making money. And, and I would actually, like at 25 years old, I'll just tell you where I was. At 25 years old, Alan, I got involved in a small business, not a big business. Small businesses usually have more generous pay plans than big companies. So when yeah, I started working honest. for Grant, the company was doing about three million bucks a year. Okay. You know, and, and I had really close proximity to Grant. I had my hands on a lot of different things. And then he wanted to grow, I wanted to grow, and you put us both together and then look, look where we're at today. So part of, I did a show a, a, a while back about uh, how, to, how, to, how to pick the right vehicle, I think, or how to tell if you're in the right vehicle, something like that. Um, that was all about like, hey, what are the attributes of a company that has the ability for you to do what I did, which was go from 25 grand a month to seven figures a year. Got it. Okay. Got it? That's good. All right, bro, appreciate the call. Keep, keep jamming out there. Last caller. Albert, Miami Lakes, what's happening? Hey, yes. Yeah, with the help. I'm here. Hey, Albert, how are you? Yeah. Good, good. Sorry, I'm listening to it on the other side. I'm here on the other side, sorry. Actually, I'm in Hialeah, but say Miami Lakes. Right on, man. What's your question? No, I just wanted to tell him, oh, I'm on live. Sorry. I turned on the voice. Sorry. No, I just wanted to say that I know it. I started um, 28 years ago. Yeah. And it was like hard work that I started with five clients and now I do 5,200. And by the way, thank you. Remember I shook hands with you um, and I said hi to you a couple of weeks back in the office? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. And remember at the boot camp. No, I just yeah. want to say thank you. Awesome. Um, man. For always taking the time and always hanging out with me. You know, and I say, you always had this smile <laughs> and always um, there. I mean, I, I just got to get out of obscurity because I'm trying to help more small businesses. Yeah. You know, move their businesses forward. Yeah. You know, and my biggest thing is the zero to five employees. I like your smile, by the way. I'm looking at through the 
through my um, YouTube later. Thing. Yeah. And uh, I just want to say thank you. And I'm just moving out of obscurity to try to get to the zero um, to five or seven employees because I know they need my help more than anybody else. But it's just getting them to believe that they need the help. Good, good, good for you, bro. I really appreciate you calling, Albert. Uh, you know, 28 years going after it and, uh, and still jamming. So you got to respect the hustle there. All right, guys. The three things you need to know to demystify success. Number one, have a plan. Number two, do the work. And number three, stay focused. The only mystery that's good mystery to have is the mystery that's inside these 10X mystery bags right here that each person who purchases a ticket uh, under the current deal that we have, you reserve your seat to 10X Growth Conference at 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash deal. 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash deal. We have a $4,500 executive ticket. You get access to that ticket for $297. We have 250 bags that are allocated to go out attached to those tickets, and each bag has something different. Some have hats, some have planners, some have wristbands, some have backpacks, some have tickets to the networking party, some have tickets for a VIP upgrade, some have a premier ticket upgrade, some have a coaching session with me, some have a coaching session with GC. So go to 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash deal. When you get a ticket, you get your 10x mystery bag. So pumped for GrowthCon coming up in February. We have a massive amount of seats reserved already. You've got to be there. It's going to be the event of the year. We just announced Bethany Frankel yesterday, superstar entrepreneur, philanthropist, celebrity, John Maxwell. We got Steve Harvey. We got Grant Cardone. We got Russell Brunson. We got Elena Cardone. It's going to be off the freaking hook. Ryan Dice, RD, from Digital Marketer. It's going to be crazy. Want to see you there. 10xgrowthcon.com forward slash deal. Remember, the only people who condemn the hustle are the ones who've given up on the hustle themselves. We'll see you next week. X Growth Con Mystery Bag for over $200,000 being given away. Stickers, wristbands, 10X hats, 10X planners, millionaire booklet, VIP upgrade, premier seat, full Cardone University access for 12 months, and coaching session with Sherry Hamilton, Jared Glantz, and Grant Cardone. 10X Growth Con Mystery Bag. What will you find in your bag? Get yours today. X Growth Con Mystery Bag. Growth Con Mystery Bag. Get yours today. Mail tag. More sales in less time. Know exactly when your emails are open. Know when your links are clicked on within your emails. Track performance metrics, giving you unlimited real-time email tracking. We give you precise email scheduling. Make sure your emails arrive at the right time, every time. Increase your open rates and perfect your multi-time zone sending. We automate your follow-up process. Save time and energy through automation. Improve reply rates. See how it can work for you. Try it completely free for two weeks. No credit card required. My name's Grant Cardone. This is the Cardone Zone every day, every day, every day. Every day. I'm going to show you how to get money a lot cheaper than this. Hey, get yourself in a position to sit in that chair right there. Are you the solution or are you the problem? Yeah, well, we're talking about what does it take? They don't know you and they're not thinking about you. They, they do you. know you and they're not thinking about they you. They forgot you. My name's Grant Cardone. You are in the Cardone Zone where I wake you up, I shake you up, I punch you in the face. But mostly, I'm that good uncle. What's happening, Greg? Yeah, what's happening, man? You got a deal or you got a question?